The Lanquantana Medina Municipal District Assembly is making gains with its attempt to beautify Medina Zongo Junction. Since a decongestion exercise to rid the stretch of human and vehicular traffic commenced some months ago, traders who normally occupy the pavement close to the highway to conduct business, as well as drivers who park and pick passengers at unauthorized places, have all been moved. With the constant presence of security personnel and guards from the municipal assembly, there's compliance with various road traffic regulations on the road. The stretch has also been cordoned off to prevent the traders from returning and flowers have been planted to beautify the area. Despite these gains made, more needs to be done to achieve a complete vision of making the area work again. Though these traders have been moved from the pavement, they have turned the footbridges along the stretch into their new business grounds. They spread, hang and display their words on the bridge to sell, contrary to the primary purpose for the construction of the bridges. This is despite several actions of municipal guards who seize their words to prevent them from returning. <laughs> The food bridges have also become a lucrative spot for begging and other activities. These actions constantly make the bridges congested and filthy with heaps of rubbish seen around. This has left the area unattractive and has deterred people from using the bridge. I've had a wonderful experience actually using the bridge, but the situation I find myself in usually is um, the bridge is usually crowded. And what happens is that um, usually there's human traffic around this area because of the beggars and then some other um, vendors of especially these people around usually selling and then doing other businesses. The situation is no different at night, as the homeless have turned the bridge into their abode. If you add the absence of light to the equation, the residents fear they could be attacked by hoodlums. This is despite a promise made by the Minister for Road and Highways, Kwekwa Makwata, to improve visibility along the footbridges at night after they were completed in 2019. At night, because there are so many people around, uh, you don't really get scared. But uh, at dawn, when uh, there are less people, and also because um, you know, the place is unsafe, so it, it sometimes gets scared, scary when you are using the food bridge mm. at dawn. I do not use this particular food bridge, but the other one that I use, that's a Zombo Dance. Yeah. You know, there are pedestrians who sells. Uh, the foot bridge, which I think it imposes a lot of load on the foot bridge. Uh, technically, um, um, the foot bridge is supposed to carry a certain amount of load, but because people are selling, uh, and then there are some uh, visualists who also sit there to ask for money. So at, at the end of the day, we realize that there's much pressure on the foot bridge. And the other thing is because. Maybe my idea may sometimes I never had in Bamban, especially in Bamano. And our food bridge is only here, no Babana Mafu, the Bridge of Mana. Can you do any of your work to create Yasu? I tell you, I say, I'm going to be a light to you, Hamay and Kadomo Bay, a bad boy. The MC for the area is, however, hopeful that with time, the exercise will achieve its purpose.